This is the fourth and final video in a series of videos on the Math 8 curriculum. In this video, we will highlight the fourth nine weeks. The fourth nine weeks begins with Unit 9, Angle Relationships. This unit is 13 days. We begin with the sum of the interior angles of triangles. If you will note, the exterior angle sum theorem has been removed from the 2019 Math 8 course of study, so that will not be in this curriculum. The angle-angle criterion for similarity has also been removed from the 2019 Math 8 course of study. From there, we move to parallel lines and transversals. We spend about approximately five to six days on parallel lines and transversals. It is here that we are reinforcing equations with variables on both sides of the equation. The essential questions of Unit 9 include, how do you prove the theorem for the sum of the interior angles of a triangle? What types of angles are formed when a transversal intersects parallel lines? And how do you find missing angle measures formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal? Unit 10 is on volume. This unit is 11 days. We begin with a lesson called Solids of Revolution. So students rotate 2D figures on a coordinate plane and they see that it forms a solid. We then move to a series of lessons on the volumes of cylinders, cones, and spheres. New to the 2019 Math 8 course of study is students are to informally derive the formulas for cones and spheres by comparing their volumes of, to a cylinder with the same radius and height. What has been removed from the course of study is knowing the formulas. Instead, we will be focusing on using the formulas. The essential questions of Unit 10 include, what is the relationship between the volumes of cylinders, cones, and spheres that have the same diameter and same height? How can changing one dimension, such as a radius of a cylinder, affect the volume? The fourth nine weeks finishes with Unit 11, Exponents and Scientific Notation. This unit is 11 days. The unit opens with a series of lessons on the properties of exponents. New to the 2019 Math 8 course of study is students will develop the properties for integer ex exponents. So instead of being told what the rule is, they will proceed through a series of lessons that helps them to discover the rule. Next, we will move into scientific notation. Operations with numbers in scientific notation. And finish out with applications of scientific notation. The essential questions of Unit 11 are, when do I need to use numbers written in scientific notation? What are advantages? What advantages are there in using numbers written in scientific notation? And how can you perform operations with numbers written in scientific notation? This concludes the overview of the fourth nine weeks of the Math 8 curriculum.